Our production process starts with the delivery and unloading of Sugar Molasses to Citribel's facility. This thick, dark, syrupy byproduct from sugar refineries is ready to begin its transformation. The truck is emptied, capturing every drop. The molasses are transferred to a fermentation tank where the product is mixed. One of our employees takes a sample for quality control. It then enters fermentation chambers where mold consumes the sugars, producing citric acid and mycelium. Conditions like temperature and humidity are carefully supervised. After several days, the fermentation is complete. The substance is then transferred to the washing installation. Next, the bioacid is prepped for filtering to remove impurities. It's then mixed with a lime solution, forming a citric acid cake. This cake is treated with sulfuric acid to release liquid citric acid. The liquid is purified further, removing any remaining impurities and resulting in a clear product. The citric acid solution is then crystallized through controlled evaporation, which takes about 16 hours. The crystals are then centrifuged to remove moisture and further dried using hot air. The moisture that is released in this process is reused in the main circuit, resulting in an efficient and sustainable process. Finally, the dried crystals are sorted by size and stored in silos, ready for packaging. The refined citric acid is packaged in various forms to meet customer needs, anhydrous, monohydrate, different granulations, powders and solutions. The packaging team ensures each order is customized and prepared for shipping. At our warehouse, the packaged citric acid is stored until trucks come to pick it up. Workers load the pallets and the truck departs to its destination, marking the end of the citric acid's journey from molasses to a refined product.